The annual reenactment of the Maitwan Massacre was held in downtown Maitwan on Saturday, May 18th. Donna always puts on a stellar play. She has a lot of time and effort that she puts into these performances, and so does the cast as well. Uh, they all do it for the love of the play, free of charge. And you don't find that in many places and towns these days, we don't feel. But That's true. And... Uh, to bring forth our heritage is such an important thing, and we really, really have a heart for that, and and we do appreciate Donna so much. She does, like Mike Michael said, an absolute stellar job. When work in traffic in Ploy County, responding to crashes involving deaths or injuries is the toughest part of our job. When you're driving on Floyd County roads, there's so much out of your control. What you do have control over is wearing a seatbelt. Ploy County, always buckle up. The show told the story of how Sid Hatfield and various Union miners got into a gunfight with detectives after a series of unfortunate events. By putting on these reenactments, the Maitwan Drama Group hopes to enlighten the younger generation about the men who lost their lives fighting for fair labor laws. If we don't remind our children um, how important this battle was, because uh, the Battle of Maitwan uh, was a struggle for really human rights as well as uh, American labor rights. And the American labor movement was early in its formation and this was a part of it. This is, plays a significant role because this was actually a fire starter for small towns all over the country. Many turned out in support of the reenactment and many young people walked away with a better understanding of the history of Maitwan. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Fidel.